Hey guys, it's Mrs. C here to show you guys how to turn an old t-shirt into a reusable washable shopping bag. The materials you're gonna need today are an old t-shirt that you can cut up, a pair of fabric scissors if you have them or whatever the sharpest scissors you have in the house are, a ruler, um, and if you don't have a ruler, you can use a piece of junk mail. The width that we're going to be using with the ruler today is about the same size as an average envelope. To get started, you're going to lay your t-shirt down, flatten it out the best you can, try and even out the seams that you can feel through the t-shirt arms. You're going to take your scissors and cut each sleeve off, trying to cut right to the inside of the seams. Try and make nice even cuts. These are going to become part of the handle of the bag so you don't want any jagged edges. The next thing is to flip the t-shirt around and you're gonna cut off the neck in a deep scoop. Depending on what kind of print you have in your shirt and how big you want the hole in the bag to be, you can take the U shape that you're going to create and make it a little deeper or a little bit more shallow. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit more shallow so that I don't cut off uh, the design that's on my t-shirt that I wanna have on the bag. If you don't have a design that goes up as high, you can cut yours a little bit bigger. And you can see the shape of the bag starting to appear on top of the shirt. After you get the neck cut and the arms cut, the next step you're going to do is turn the t-shirt inside out. And you wanna try and lay it down on the table and line up that bottom seam as flat as you can. So take a minute to just smooth out any of the wrinkles and make sure that that bottom hem is lined up. And ready for cutting. The next step to create the bottom of the bag is to cut half inch wide strips about three to four inches in height across the entire bottom of the bag. If you don't have a ruler at home to measure, you can use your finger as about the width of how wide the strip should be. And a piece of junk mail, um, the average business envelope is about four inches wide. Um, so you can use that end of the envelope to kind of measure about how tall each strip should be. So using my finger as the width and the envelope or my ruler as a guide, I am going to cut starting at the bottom of my shirt strips continuing the entire length of the bottom of the hem of the shirt. Before I begin tying, I just need to cut the last two strips. You'll notice where the shirt folded over, those strips are extra thick. So I can just take my scissors and cut on that fold line.
to make those two individual little pieces so I can tie them together. To close the bottom of the bag, you're going to start with the first two strips and tie them together in a knot, nice and tight. So tie once and tie again. And you're going to continue this for the entire shirt, tying each top and bottom layer to itself to create a series of knots. Once you've tied all of the ends together, if you look closely, you'll notice there's some pretty decent size holes between each one of the knots you made. So to close up the holes in the bottom of the bag so the things you put in don't fall out, you're gonna tie one more series of knots. So you're gonna lay the bag back flat again, and you're gonna start by kind of sorting out your little strips that you just tied. You're gonna take the top string from the first knot and tie it to the bottom string of the second knot and tie that together in a knot. And you're going to continue this the whole way down. Take the top knot, the top string of the second knot, and tie it to the bottom string of the third knot. top string of the third knot goes to the bottom string of the fourth and continue on down the road. After you've completed the second row of knot tying, you should be able to stick your hand inside the bag and see that all of those big gaps and holes that were in the bottom in between all of the knots are no longer there. After all the knot tying is done, the last step that I like to do is just cut off the seams on the bottom of the ties. It takes a little bit of the bulk out of the inside of the bag. You don't want to cut them too short, but cutting off the very ends of it will take some of that extra fabric out of the bottom. And because we will be turning this inside out when we're all done, it doesn't have to be perfect cuts. And we don't have to worry about cutting too close to the knots that we made. Once I've cut all of the ends off of my knots, I can go ahead and turn the bag right side out. And there is my completed bag. And there you have it, your t-shirt shopping bag. Ready for the store? 100% washable and oh so fashionable.
Bye, guys.